Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna show you how to add a background image to your scene. And this will be a little different than ones I've shown in the past about how to add an image on a plane in the background or a reference image. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So here I'm in Blender and this is a robot that I designed and created and modeled in Blender. And then I've added grease pencil lines to it and then a cartoon shader. So let me render this so you can see where we're starting from. Okay, so you can see what that looks like. And currently we just have the default world background on. So let me close this out. So if you go to the world properties here, you can change what that background looks like. And you can see the shading changes with that. But for this, we don't want that. We want to actually add an image. So the image is actually placed on the camera. It's not actually in the scene anywhere. So I want to show you how that works. If I click on the camera and then I click on the camera properties down here, you can see that we have background images as an option and it's unchecked. So let me check that and drop it down. So we currently don't have an image set. So you can add an image or a movie clip here and you can turn that on and off here. Before I click open to select one, I want to show you to the left of that, you can drop that down. And if you have any images you've already loaded into Blender, you can pick those. I want to click open and choose one. Now this is a background from the Venture Brothers cartoon. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Uh, they just released the movie of it that closes out the series. So highly recommended. Not just for the animation, but the story is one of the best I've seen. So anyway, this is a background from that. Now if I render this, you can see that it doesn't show up in the render view. And I've only got the world background here. So let me turn that off. So you can choose from a single image, image sequence, movie generated in UDM tiles. And I won't go over that right now, but typically single image, image sequence or movies would be what I would use. So because it's faded looking, if I increase the opacity, now that's where we need it to be. And here's our frame method. So right now it's stretched, which means it's fitting the image to my frame or the camera. So if I click fit, you can see it's no longer stretching that. And we have these bars on the side. And that's because the image isn't quite big enough at its native size to fit the frame. But if I go back to stretch, you can see it stretches that out to fit. If I go to crop, it's going to proportionally size it up so that it fits the frame, but you are going to have some overlap if it's not exact. So you can see up here at the top and the bottom, I have some parts of that photo showing. And that's because it expanded it on the sides because it's shorter on the sides than the top. So we have some overlap at the top. So that gets you your actual proportions of the image. You're just losing a little bit at the top and the bottom. Offset, you can change where the image lines up on the camera. So I can adjust that. Let me take that back to zero. You can also rotate it. And you can scale it up. So you typically work with scale if you're gonna bring that up and then you can use the offset to adjust it if there's a certain area you want. Okay, and then you can flip it horizontally and you can flip it vertically. So for me, the best setting is cropped as long as you're not losing a little bit if it doesn't exactly fit the frame. If not, stretch might be better. So again though, if I render this, you won't see it. So for now, I wanna click the X to get rid of this. And now I don't have one just because I don't want to be confusing when we show it in the rendered portion. So to render it, I want to click on compositing and I need to add it in here. So I want to click on use node so I can get my node. So you automatically have the renders layer node and the composite node. And the renders layer node is the starting place for getting a picture into the scene. And again, this is the overall scene that's already established in Blender. So the background won't be added to the scene. It'll be added after the fact. So this will be outside of the scene. And the composite node is just combining everything else you add to it. So the first thing I want to add is a alpha over node. So I'm going to hit shift A, search alpha over, select that, drop it in. Now the alpha over node is used to layer images on top of one another. So I'm going to bring that down and insert it in between these two. And I'm going to pull this image connection down to the lower image input on the alpha over. 
I'm going to shift A again and hit search and type in image. So since I've already loaded that image previously in Blender, I can choose this drop down here and select it. You can see we get a preview of what that looks like. Now I'll grab this image option and bring it down to the top alpha over image input. So I'm going to render this. You can see what that looks like so far. And you can see nothing's changed. So to help with this, I'm going to split my screen so that I've got the render image on one side and the blender scene on the other side. Okay, now that we've got that, so now we'll render that again. I want to show you why this isn't working. So I'm currently getting the gray background of the world, which if I go to the world properties, you can see that's that gray. So what's happening is the scene, and you can see in the little preview of the renders layer node, does not have a transparent background. So to fix that, I'm going to go to the render tab here, render properties. I'll go down to film, and where it says transparent, I want to check that. And we'll render again. And now you can see the image. So again, why that was happening is because the image itself, the scene was still showing the world background. So even though I had the new image available, it wouldn't show through that because it was still showing gray in the background. So now that you've checked transparent, it'll fix that. So you can see my background is not filling up the frame and that's because it's not sized correctly. So I'm going to hit shift A to bring up node search and type in scale. I'm going to add that here. Now relative is based on the scale within Blender. So, you know, I can adjust that here, but right now one and one is the default. If I change this to absolute, you can see it disappeared because that's on a absolute scale. So to get it to fit here, I would have to type in 1920 by 1080. because that's the size of my frame. Now that did stretch it because we know the image based on what I showed in the viewport is not quite wide enough to fill the frame. If I go to scene size, it shrinks it down. And I'll admit, I've tried to do some research on this and I can't figure out the benefit of using screen size. But for render size, we get the same options we had before. So if I hit stretch, I know that it's stretching it a little bit wider to fill that frame. If I click fit, you can see now I can see those edges where they're not quite to the edge of the camera. And if I hit crop, it's going to increase it on the size to fit the side, but then the top will be overlapping a little bit. So it's exactly what I showed in the previous viewport version. And this has offset options as well. So now if I render this, you see it renders correctly. Hope you found this video helpful. This robot that I created will probably be one I'll use in future videos to kind of talk about animation and rigging and I'll probably play around with a little bit. And then I plan on having a video in the future about uh, adding grease pencil objects to a 3D object. I had a subscriber ask that question. So that'll be a little comedy animation skit that I'm working on for that. And then I'll describe how I did it. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Go Team Venture! Yes, go Team Venture!